Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today's video is the start of a brand new series on my channel called LTFC Weekly. Now it's a working title so if you guys can think of a better name for this series, let me know down in the comment section below. So this series is all about me talking about everything that's happened in the past week related to Luton Town. Now I thought I'd start this series because I always get asked, Oh Lewis, what's your opinion on this? What's your opinion on this? Now, I can't make like over 10 videos a week. Now, I came up with an idea that I will upload a video on a Sunday talking about everything that's happened in the past week. So it gives everyone my thoughts on what's happened in the past week to do with Luton, and it also keeps everyone updated with Luton Town content. But before I get into the video, if we can hit 50 likes on this video, as it's the start of a brand new series, then I'd be really happy. So if we can hit 50 likes on this video, that'd be much appreciated. So let's get in the video. So on Monday, Luton celebrated our one year anniversary on getting promotion to the championship. Obviously, it was a fantastic day for every Luton fan. You know, I don't think many people thought he was going to get promotion again before the season started. Like all the things that happened during that season, you know, Rutter coming in and improving things, going on that unbeaten run, Nathan Jones leaving halfway through the season, getting like stadium approval. It was definitely a season to remember for every Luton fan. As we don't have a manager at the moment, we're going to get a lot of people like rumoured for the job. And on Monday, we had Tommy Wright and Chris Coleman had their odds slashed. For the job now guys i've already made a video about chris coleman so if you guys want to check that out i will leave like an eye there so the video will pop up or i will suggest it down in the comment section below if you guys didn't know who tommy wright is he's the former st johnston manager and he spent seven years at the club another thing that happens on monday the fa chairman greg clark revealed that fans will not be watching games live anytime soon a lot of people are saying that we're not going to be able to see a live game of football until next year and that's looking very, very likely until like a vaccine is made and it, it works. And obviously the number of cases obviously decline a bit more. I can't see any fan going to watch a live football game anytime soon, which is really disappointing, which means we will have to watch it on the iFollow services or Sky Sports. And not many people want to do that. They'd rather be live. But at this moment in time and during this pandemic, we just can't. On Tuesday, we kind of celebrated another anniversary. It was two years since we last played Notts County away from home in League Two. And yeah, we all knew we were um, promoted to League One. And obviously, it was a very good day. You know, I think there was 5,000 Luton fans in the away end at Notts County. The atmosphere was amazing. It was a party atmosphere. And here are a few clips from that day. Like I said, as we don't have a manager at the moment, we're going to get people linked to the job and under 18's Chelsea manager, Andy Myers. Now, for me, when this name popped up, I thought I was quite surprised to see this name. It's a, not an, a usual name you would see when a job is available. I've never seen him ever linked to any jobs before. Been at Chelsea for majority of his career in coaching. He's obviously coached some very, very good players and obviously would have a lot of good connections if he did get the job at Luton. Now, I know like our owners like to go to like the Premier League clubs and look at their like youth coaches and try and bring them over to us, as we did with Nathan Jones. So it'd be interesting to see if we do go for Andy Myers. Let me know down in the comment section of this video, would you like to see Andy Myers at the club? On Wednesday, George Monker came out to the press and said that there is no pressure playing under Mick Harford when he is the manager. Now, I kind of understand why there's no pressure when Mick Harford is manager. He's a motivator, club legend, you know, everyone likes him at the club. You know, he is the man to go to. Now, when he was obviously in charge of Luton last year, he was motivating the team. All he had to do was motivate the boys to play well. Like the tactics side of things went to Steve Rutter where Harford was the one, you know, he is the man manager type of thing. Now the reason why I think there's no pressure as last year Mick Harford said like he's a little bit out of touch with tactics and stuff. And for me that's why I think the players enjoy it under Mick Harford. Like the assistant managers 
and coaches are the ones who run the training sessions. It's not actually Mick Harfin himself. He just like observes it all and just he talks to the players. And that's why I think the players feel really no pressure when they're playing or when they're training. Now, obviously, a lot of people are saying Mick Harford should be the next Luton Town manager. You know, give it, give it to Mick Harford. For me, I don't want that to happen. I want Mick Harford to stay as recruitment. For me, Mick Harford's best job at the club is head of recruitment, you know, chief scout, bringing in that right type of player. And he's done it in the past. He's brought in so many good players. So for me, why change something that's working? It doesn't make any sense. So for me, I don't want Mick Harford as manager. I want someone who has tactical approach to things. He's very consistent in his tactics, you know. And I just don't think Mick Harford's the right man. I think if he had someone with him who was very good at that, like the tactics side of things, then it could maybe work. But... Going forward, I think Mick Harford's best job is head of recruitment, bringing in that right type of player. But let me know down in the comments, why do you want Mick Harford as the next Luton Town manager? Now to end the video on some positive news, Luton have sold over 3,000 season tickets for next season. That is fantastic. Even though we may won't actually see our team live, we are still selling season tickets which is brilliant. The revenue from those season tickets will help keep our club alive, will help pay for staff, will help pay for players, ground like maintenance, like everything. It's so important that everyone still keeps buying season tickets. Now, I know some people watching this video may think I'm not going to buy a ticket until I know what's happening with next season in regards to football. But for me, just buy the season ticket or buy match tickets for next season, even if you can't go live. You know, it helps the club. You know, if it weren't for us buying season tickets, you know, going to games every week, you know, generating that money for the club, our club won't exist. So for me, during these difficult times, if you can afford it, I understand that people can't afford it. But if you can afford it and you want to help buy a season ticket, buy some match tickets, you know, it will help the club massively going forward, especially during these times. So guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below, like I said, do you want Mick Harford as the next Luton Town manager? Do you want Andy Myers as the next Luton Town manager? Let me know down in the comment section of this video. Now the series is called LTFC Weekly. If you guys have a better name than that, just let me know down below and I will think about changing it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.